you know, I mean, very honest conversations. She's a great mother. She's a great wife. You know, she balances a lot of things. She was very disappointed I wasn't here in the States on Mother's Day. Seguramente, claro. That was a serious conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you here? You know. Sí, seguro. But she's 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 you know she's really been uh, very supportive. She's very supportive of Zri, uh, the company. Sí, claro. And uh, and we both use the products every day. She loves the products. I love the products. But uh, she's she's very supportive of everything I do. Qué lindo. Almost everything. I do. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, vamos a ver la siguiente fotografía. Oh, well, these are the boys. Sí, oh, sí. Oh, wow, yeah. They're, yeah, they're, they're, you know, they're very special. They are really special. Uh, I told you about privileged, spoiled. Sí. They're not spoiled, but they are privileged. But they, they're really, they're kind, they're generous, they're honest, they're hardworking. You know, they don't, oh, well, we come from a wealthy family and we don't. No, you know, they're, they're serious in their own passions about their own passions and uh, we try to see them as much as possible so they're they're an inspiration they are an inspiration to me sí yes. eso decimos mucho los padres no que nuestros hijos son muchas veces nuestros motores para para seguir y hacer cosas yeah yeah it's a strange thing isn't it i mean you're born with these feelings uh and when you become a parent you no one can explain to you what being a parent feels like sí. uh, but once you become the parent You, your whole mentality changes about, the, and you do things, you go, I can't believe I did that for that <laughs> child, right? And you know, really, if it came to it, you would sacrifice your life for that child. Sí. Now, that's amazing. Sí. I mean, that's amazing. Where does that come from? Es, es el amor más puro, tal vez, ¿cierto? Yeah, uh, for sure. Tengo una última fotografía. Oh. ¿Quién <laughs> es? <laughs> <laughs> that's the little little guy. <laughs> that's the. Uh, we have four grandchildren. Okay. Uh, the oldest is five, and the youngest is three months. Es diferente ser abuelo y ser papá. ¿Qué cambia en el sentimiento? Yeah, I'm still adjusting to be a grandfather. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm quite ready. <laughs> Your grandfather? Well, maybe. <laughs> no, but they're they're you know it's it's special, sure. Es a ser lindo ver a sus hijos tener sus propios hijos. Yeah, yeah. It's life. You know, sí. it's a cycle of life. Así es. Right? The, the, the Lion King and... <laughs> but it's the... Simba. <laughs> Simba. You know, it, it is, right? It is a symbol of life, and, and, but it is a life cycle. And that is part... There's parts of our life cycle we wish didn't happen, maybe, but it is nature. Claro. A and so it's a nice part of nature. Bueno, último que quiero que nos platique un poco es oh. el deporte, porque es algo que lo motiva mucho a usted. Very important to me. Sí. From the young age, I was very involved in sports. I was pretty good. ¿Qué, qué jugaba? ¿Qué, ¿Qué deporte hacía? I played in the U.S. I played American football. Uh -huh. I was a competitive swimmer. I played American baseball. You know, I later became one of the owners of the Chicago White Sox. Sí, sí, sí. Uh, and used to go spring training with them and work out with the team. But, but really exercise of almost all kind. Now today, these days, golf. Well, why, why golf? Because a friend of mine used to say, I used to hate to play golf because it took so much time. Now I love to play golf because it takes <laughs> so much time. It depends on where you are in life, you claro. know, but you know, the, the knees, the shoulders, the <laughs> elbows, they don't work as well as they used to. So you can't go play football, you can't go play soccer, you, you know. So now uh, golf is a very good sport, but I do a lot of exercise, sí. maybe five days a week, okay. you know, with some meditation and some yoga and, and so forth. Yeah. Qué bueno. Tenemos que irnos a otra pausa comercial. Nos queda un bloque nada más, se nos va el tiempo volando. Bill Farley está con nosotros. Vamos a la pausa rápido y volvemos. Con Margarinas Cremi. Todo sabe mejor. Presenta. Y la frase de esta noche, amigos, es de Robert Kiyosaki y dice, el fracaso derrota a los perdedores e inspira a los ganadores. Con margarinas cremi, todo sabe mejor. Con margarinas cremi, todo sabe mejor. Presentó.
Gracias por seguir con nosotros. Estamos llegando a la parte final de esta entrevista que me la he disfrutado mucho, la verdad. Gracias a Bill Farley por estar con nosotros esta noche. Esta es su casa. Cada vez que venga a Guatemala, por favor, venga Thank a acompañarnos you. un ratito. Thank you. Let's do five segments. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, bueno, no olvidarse de dónde se viene. A través de, sabemos que hace donaciones, que está pendiente de su escuela incluso. Eh, ¿Por qué esto es tan importante para usted? Well, I don't, I, it's, just some, it's just something I think it's, everyone should be doing. And I, I don't think it's a religious thing for mm -hmm. me, although I was raised, uh, you know, I was raised Catholic. But I think there's a rule, you know, which is do unto others as you would want them to do to you, uh, respect others. And it just seems to be part of me. I mean, I don't really know where it comes from. Maybe it comes from parents. They were really good people. They really respected others. They were helpful to others. So probably, and my family in general, my, my grandparents were wonderful, my, my aunts, my uncles. So maybe it, you know, it just comes from that environment when you're growing up. Porque muchas veces nos sentimos avergonzados de nuestro pasado, en lugar de entender que eso nos puede dar fuerza. I, I think, for example, in my past, you know, I think I am strong because of that background. Claro. Uh, and, I, and one of my big concerns was raising three children that didn't have, that, that were given things and that didn't have to work as hard. So then what would be their value system? How would they treat others? How hard would they work? Would they try to be successful in their career or would they just rely on, uh, you know, well-to-do parents, wealthy sí. parents? Uh, so far, so good. Uh, but uh, I, I think in my case specifically that growing up, knowing the value of what we say is a dollar, mm -hmm. it was very helpful to me to stay, to understand my goals, stay focused and so forth. Yeah. Vamos con la segunda. La importancia del buen trato humano. Well, you know, every single name, I'm not so sure I can <laughs> do that. But I do, try to, I do try to connect with everyone I meet, and particularly people that I think have a less important, that they might think they have less important position. So, for example, uh, you know, when I go into a hotel, the person who is carrying my bag, you know, that's an important person. Make, make that person feel better. I doesn't need to make me feel better. I, you know, I'm doing fine. But I should be, I should make him feel better. So for example, people working for the company, for my company, my goal, I should be a teacher now. I should be a mentor to these people. I should assist them with their, their growing up, their maturing. I mean, we have people that join our company that are 18, 19, 20 years old. That's very young and we're expecting And the world's expecting a lot of them sí. when they go into this business, right? So my goal is to make them feel better, to motivate them, to energize them, to support them. And uh, that's just the way I think it should be. Qué lindo. Gran lección, además. Vamos con la tercera. Invitar a otros a que tengan un mejor futuro, no solamente en lo económico, en la salud, en, en todas las áreas de la vida. All right. So, you know, years ago, I met a fellow named Dr. Deepak Chopra. Uh, I think I told you earlier, I met Oprah before she was Oprah, yeah. and I met Deepak before he was Deepak. But he talked about the connection of the mind and the body and the spirit. Yeah. And I thought, wow, you know, that's an, important con that's an important concept that very few people would talk about, and particularly Western doctors. Mm -hmm. So I, that became part of my philosophy because it reinforced my, or my beliefs that I already had. So. In my life, I think you don't want to just focus on your business and you don't want to just focus on your health and you don't want to, you know, you, you, it should be a combination, mm -hmm. right? And so that's what one of the things we're trying to teach in our business, which is we want you to do the business well, but we're concerned about your health. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm in this business of Zri today. Why? Because I don't have to do it. I want to do 